Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at getting into and getting started with Google Spaces. So at some point you'll receive an invitation to a Google Space, like this email right here. And when you do, it will just basically tell you that you've been invited and to open it, open up if you are interested. So you open up in Google Chat. First time it does this, it's going to give you a sense of what that space looks like. And then you're going to have right down here, do you, uh, testing, it, you were invited by by me and do you want to block or do you want to join? Hopefully you'll join. Select join and it will bring you into that Google space. And Google space is really this asynchronous space where you can share materials, information, uh, have conversations with other folks in that space. And for this particular use, we want to use it with faculty. So uh, if you're teaching the same course or the same kinds of courses, you have a space to like go and talk with other faculty and connect and learn. So the first thing it says is, how do you want to be notified about new posts? So you can select notify for all. So anytime there's a new post within the space, you'll get a ping in your email. Um, it's You can notify for following. This is if somebody asks you, that is tags you uh, during a discussion. That's happening in here. Or if you're following a particular thread that you've been responding to, you can get notifications just for that thread, not for all the others that are happening. And then there's don't notify. And this is very simple. You do not need a notification, want a notification um, at all that you'll just go into the space as makes sense. I'm going to leave it at notify for all. And that's my that's my decision. I can always come back up and uh, I believe if I come up here, I can change it under notifications, right? So I can adjust this if I need to. Also, while I'm here, I can show you a couple other things. I can leave uh, if something, I can block and report it. I can mute. Um, I can pin things. So I can pin this so it always shows at the top of my spaces. And then I can also mark things as unread. If I need a link, that is I want to access this in a browser rather than just in my chat, I can always copy that link. Um, and then a few other things, I can see the members, the space details, get a sense of where things are. All right, now that I'm in, now that I'm in here, I can do a couple other things. So somebody posted this, I can always do that emoji reaction. So maybe I want to give it a smile. Uh, I can also, if I hover over, notice it says reply in thread. So maybe I just want to respond to that and say, you know, oh, you're right. And in here, just notice, and this is everywhere, it's also over on the left side here, is that I can do an emoji, I can do a GIF, I can upload a file, I can actually even add a video meeting link, and then I can click on the little plus button and um, I can start a new Google Doc. I can add slides or sheets, and then I can also add a file from my drive or even put in a calendar invite. So I've got like that full suite of Google options so that it's not just that I have to, I, I can text here, but I can add so much more if I want. So I'm just gonna uh, add a laughing face just for, for giggles and then just hit enter. And so now that I've replied, now I am subscribed to this thread. That is if I had selected that, just notify me messages that are to me, this is one of those spaces where that would happen. All right, but I'm going to close this thread. We'll be back on the main page. And as you can see, another something else that's, that was posted is somebody shared a document. So I can always click on that, and it might take a second. So I can just click on this to open it up, or I can copy the link and check it out in another tab. Uh, again, you can play around with GIFs. Uh, those are always fun to share. Uh, but this really is, the, you know, this opportunity for that community and that collaboration. Um, if I wanted to, maybe I didn't want it to kind of take up my, my full inbox, I can always click this button right here, which says open in a pop-up. And now it is set up in that pop-up space. So you can kind of move back and forth with how you display it, how you see it. A uh, couple other features worth noting is you also have this task, this file in tasks tabs. And so if the group wanted to, and as has already happened, start to add files that they might each find really interesting, you can add them here directly. Um, or as I said, you can, you know, you can add them during the chat. You can also add tasks. And that is, you know, something to be thinking about within the group, uh, things to circle back on, things to follow up. Sometimes if you're a group that's around a particular course, you could start actually like using tasks for like an update list of what are the different tasks that um, the group wants to make sure it's updated in the course. So, you know, um, 
next semester um, fix assignment. I'm going to say fix assignment X. We're going to keep it vague. We can also add a date and time and we can actually assign it to people. So you could actually assign it to other people in the group if that makes sense and they've actually said they are taking that up or to other folks in the organization for, to grab our attention. So you can hit tap, you can hit add and there it is. You can also go over to the chat and you can see that the task has been created um, and that's what it is. And so, you know, if somebody else created this, you could come back and reply. So those are the few options. It's pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, we hope that this will be a space for really good conversation and connection, opportunity to problem solve, to, to figure things out. Um, I would also add that we want to be mindful about what we share within the space, uh, just again, being respectful about privacy concerns. Um, so it's okay to be discussing, say, a challenge that you're having in a classroom, but not necessarily to identify the student. Um, and we wanna be, just be mindful of that regularly as we're having these conversations is that we wanna maintain appropriate privacy, um, but that doesn't mean we still can't problem solve. We just don't have to give the particular details uh, in this space. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.